Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aquas. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Aquas. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves. Shout out to the beautiful soul family. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. It is always a pleasure to have you. Yes, thank you all so much. I appreciate you, Aquas. We're going to go ahead and dive directly into your general love reading. All right, we're going to see who is the person that is in your energy and why. All right, we're first going to start with the love romance angel deck here. All right, we're going to see what's coming towards you for love and romance. Or who is this person that's currently on your mind? All right. So come on in, smash that like button, and let's talk about this thing called love. All right, Aquas, what do we got for Aquarius? What's coming in for Aquarius placements here for love? Oh, we got, it is safe for you to love, Aquarius. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So this is your spirit team here, Aquas, giving you the green light basically here. Stating that it's okay now for you to get back out there and give it a go, all right? Some of y'all are going to be meeting someone new here if you haven't met this person already, okay? But it is safe for you now to love. Some of y'all have done some healing. You've done some inner work here, all right? And you're ready to get back out there and get your feet wet again, okay? So let's see what else is coming towards you next for love, Aquarius. All right. Yeah, look at that. We got getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay. So definitely you and someone here are going to be connecting here pretty soon. Some of y'all, you may have already met this person, Aquarius. Okay. And you two are getting to know each other. Others of you all, you may have it yet. It's going to be different strokes for different folks. Okay. Wow, yeah, look at this. We got this situation involves marriage. So some of you all, this connection that you're connecting with this person, it does have the potential to have a commitment, let's just say, okay? And then a commitment can go to a whole marriage for some of you all as well. But the potential for this connection is definitely being able to take things here to the next level as well. Now, we also got to pay attention to the red flags, the signs, excuse me, are cautioning you. So there may be someone that is in your energy that you're needing to pay attention to the red flags, or it could be this new person. Take it how it resonates for you. I kind of feel like with the codependency card coming out as well, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Um, this could be someone that is in your energy here that is causing conflicts or this could be an ex energy here all right aquarius where someone was very codependent on you yeah we got separation here at the bottom of the deck okay time apart from your partner is on the horizon yeah some of y'all you had a very codependent energy here they could definitely been an ex here that was codependent on you and this is where spirit is wanting you to pay attention to the red flags if you're having to separate from this person due to the way that they may feel about this separation they could be in their emotions and their feelings and doing bitter things, okay? Showing a behavior that is bitter and conflicted, okay? So be mindful of that energy because some of y'all, this person may be aware that you are dating or connecting with someone new as well for others of you all, okay? Wow, Aqua. So let's get out some tarot here. Let's see what are these red flags that you need to be paying attention to with this energy here. Wow, Aquarius, if the reading so far is resonating for you, smash that like button, loves, all right? That'd be very much appreciated. Why do we have pay attention to the red flags? Wow, we have the Knight of Wands. This could be a fire sign, Aquarius. This could be a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries here. This is an energy of someone that um, they're not as grounded as you may would have wanted this person to be. This is someone that's not going to be as committed 
as you will want them to be here either. This is someone who likes to explore. They like to adventure. They like to go off and do new things with new people, you know, engaging a lot with others and not being able to commit or settle down to you. I feel like that could have been the issue here as well. Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords. Spirit said that's the truth, okay? So I feel like you're going to find clarity about this person's behavior and the things that they do here, okay? Let's clarify the Ace of Swords. Some of y'all, you found out the truth about this person here. And this is why you two are separating from each other here. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Others of you all, this person could be an air sign like yourself. They could be a Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius here, okay? Clarify the Ace of Swords here, please. We got the Six of Wands and the Page of Swords. Wow, this person is definitely watching you. They're definitely observing you. This person could be a Leo for some of you all. Or again, they could be an air sign. But they are observing and watching you while you're connecting with someone new. That's why I feel like for some of y'all, this person could be causing conflicts here if they're not already, okay? Yeah, they're definitely causing some type of conflicts. You're showing up as a seven of wands. You're being sure to protect yourself, protect your energy. And I do see you guarding yourself and setting boundaries from this person here, okay? Wow. So let's see what this person here wants to say. Let's see what this person here wants to say, Aquas. Wow, we got no more third parties, Aquarius, okay? Yeah, see, this person, again, they done some very immature things, having you involved with other people that you may didn't even know about here. We got, I hurt when we are not talking. Wow, so I feel like because, again, you two are in separation here. For the ones that are still processing and dealing with this person, this energy here, they definitely do hurt when you two are no longer talking here. This is something that this person is definitely going to have to get used to, okay? And then we have, I've been waiting on you. I feel like this is the new energy here that we discussed earlier. This new energy here is looking forward to connecting with you. They've been waiting to be with someone like you or just connect with someone like you. So there is two different situations and circumstances going on. You got the person or the ex here, or some of you are the person that you're currently dealing with, who you are um, separating yourself from, from this third party situation. And then others of you all, like I mentioned, you could have already ended things with this ex and you're meeting this new person or connecting with this new person here that's been waiting for a person like you to come along in their life, okay? Yeah, we got down. I want you. You see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you definitely got someone here new that's attracted to you. All right. That definitely wants to connect farther with you in the future as well. So, wow, there are two different energies here, Aqua. There's a new person and there is someone here from your past. Okay. Wow, Aquas. I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here. However, if you would love to book a personal reading to kind of get more insight, more details to see where is this connection here with this new person going to go on in your future or what's the potential outcome with you and this person that you decide to separate yourself from. Definitely, if so, my email details, Aqua, are down below in the description box. Thank you all for tuning in today. If you would love more content from the channel, come and check me out on Patreon Aquarius for more content, more energy check-ins, more free questions that I do provide my family over there as well, and definitely more, okay? I love you, Aquarius, and I definitely wish you and this person here the best, my loves. Bye-bye.